That's right, I said it. You might be doing it wrong. I know I did. You might be upgrading your towers with soul orbs a little less efficiently than you could be and hurting yourself in the long run. So like ripping off a band-aid, I'm just going to tell you straight up. Speed is king, is what I was going to say before I was shown the light by two of our fellow no-lifes. Shout out to Death, AKA the Witcher Lord and Basil for that multi-hour infinite run slash teaching session where I was the student instead of the teacher like I had planned. I almost made a huge technical mistake, the worst kind, and you have saved me from that hard fate and also saved me from ruining the tower I'm going to upgrade in today's video. That being said, I have seen vids for yay damage and woohoo speed, but I can for certain tell you that hybrid is the way. Come at me, bro. I'm ready. Ready to huddle behind my keyboard. Don't hurt me. Like the keyboard warrior I am. Except unlike your usual keyboard warrior, I'm actually backing my opinions up with more than just cause trust me, bro. But first, some of you might still be like, what's a soul orb? It's how you upgrade your towers to make their base stats more powerful and you can choose different paths. Welcome to season one. This is the most important part of the whole thing. And if you can wrap your head around this, I think you'll be well on your way to kicking some butt this season. To get started, follow me into Death's office. First, you need to buy a death certificate for 1000 soul gems. So we already have a few, but let's buy one more just to show you, thanks. All right, now, then you need to make a deal with Death. So let's talk to him. And then you get to sacrifice a copy of a tower in exchange for a soul orb. So let's see, Let, do we wanna sacrifice some heroes? Yes, please. So we want to sacrifice, all right, take note, uh, we will be upgrading our nightmare skull shot today, but you do not want to sacrifice another shiny to upgrade it. You can just up, or, uh, sacrifice a regular skull shot. So let's click on that. Uh, yes, we want to do that. Conf all right, so then you're going to head to your backpack and click collectibles and then click on the orb you want to use. Then we're gonna hit use and we're going to click on Nightmare Skull Shot. Once you click on the copy you want to upgrade, then you can choose either speed, damage, or range. And like we said, we're going to be making this into a hybrid of speed and damage. So let's add another point to speed. Then we get to click on him, or I'm sorry, we get to go into collectibles and do this a couple more times. Let's keep it going. So we got our two in there. Now we need to put our two into damage. So we have two and two. Why are we doing this? We'll get into the math in just a second. Beautiful. It has 21,000 damage when maxed and a 0.6 attack speed. Now I know some of you are still gonna be like, lol, what a noob, lol. And it won't matter what I do, you just want to see those big numbers and you want to watch the world burn or whatever. And in the game's current state, that's probably even okay. It's not that hard and if you're using meta towers, it won't really matter anyway. Do not break your keyboard or sell your units. Don't send the devs angry messages. You'll, you'll be okay. But for the rest of you who want to be efficient and ready for the nightmares to come, follow me. Sadly, I'm not divulging the secrets of the universe. And it's shocking, I know. Shade has a spreadsheet. Oh no, look out, it's basic math. Hide. This is a completely made up tower that does 100 damage and it does it every second for a DPS of 100. This is tower X with four orbs in the damage path or for a 40% damage boost. This is a tower with four orbs in the speed path with a 40% speed boost. Note the DPS is the same no matter which is boosted. It's a 40% DPS increase either way. The difference comes when you add two orbs to damage and two orbs to speed, the DPS actually increases. I am told that this is because it is additive and not multiplicative, whatever that means. I do good. I do good. So for me personally, hybrid is the best way. In most cases. Shade, did you just say in most cases? Yes. I'm getting some feedback from experts. Experts that AoE towers benefit more from range than speed or damage, or at least a hybrid of the two. I think this is probably very dependent on which AoE tower you're talking about, as most seem to have a big enough range as it is, and I will probably stick with the hybrid method. If you'd like to argue with me about this further, feel free to leave a comment down below. 
And in my defense, all speed is still better than all damage because of the more evenly spread damage. So it's probably second place if you wanna go in all in on speed versus all in on damage, which would probably be third place. I'm going to get into this more later as it's still applicable for placing faster towers over slower big damage towers when it comes to tier listing. The towers with bigger numbers get the top spots on the tier list, but if the DPS stats are relatively similar, the faster towers will still prevail, at least on my tier list. Why? Because it's not about the power you wield, it's how you use it. I could just say, look at Angel and Death Angel and how they took the top two spots on my tier list until the advent of Skull Shot, but let's look closer. Point number one, faster towers leads to less overkill. Overkill is when a tower's damage is way over an enemy's life total and that extra is wasted. Smaller damage more frequently means less damage is wasted. With the introduction of so many AoE towers to the game, most enemies will not become single target DPS towers targets with full health, making overkill more likely. Number two, extra attacks. Get more attacks in before the enemy stuns you or leaves your tower's range. You might be thinking, but what about really slow towers like Super Punch? It's got abysmal speed. Wouldn't boosting that tiny attack speed number be a waste? All right, so this is Super Punch and it's set up much the way Tower X is. And what do you know? If you do 40% damage boost, it's the same DPS as if you do 40% speed. And if you do half and half, the DPS is higher. But even then, with the 20% increased speed, this is a slow tower. You'll note it's slow attack speed, and yes, it does attack with a six punch clip every time, but overkill is real, as it doesn't send the extra attacks to other towers after it's already landed a killing blow, so much of that attack is still wasted. That leads us to our final point, and probably the biggest, number three. For those that choose all strength or range for AoE towers, you have to think, the top two voodoo curses in the game do not boost speed, only range and damage. Nightmare boosts attack by 100% and range by 50%, and then to a lesser extent, Infernal, which boosts attack by 50% and range by 30. Talk about making things more lopsided when you neglect speed. No other tower or top tier boost in the game lets you choose more speed, so can you pass it up entirely? I think not. And counter to which many have suggested, even myself, hybrid is the way. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll be giving away my final Lucifer urn and some death angels when I hit 1500 subs. Till next time, my no life fam, have an awesome day.